Hi everybody, in this video, let's talk about linear inequality in two variables. So in this chapter, you will see a lot of inequality sign. Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. Okay, so here we have, uh, I have a table here uh, to tell you what, when you see what types of keywords that, uh, when you see, what I mean is, when you see that keywords, you know what types of inequality sign for you to use. Okay, so the first one is uh, should be no problem, very straightforward, right? More than or equal to, then you just use this symbol, more than or equal to, at least, when you see this, y is at least, means that when y is equal to x, can be accepted, still can be accepted, when y is less than x, cannot be accepted. So we need to use this symbol, y is greater than or equal to. Okay, y is not less than, 不可以少过 x, or y is not less than x. y tak boleh kurang daripada x, y sama dengan x masih boleh diterima. So y is greater than or equal to x. So these types of keywords are going to tell you what types of inequality symbol that you need to use. Okay, so let's go to this one. Y is less than or equal to, less than or equal to, at most means that maximum. So Y maximum can reach to X only, cannot be more than X. So paling banyak sampai senang aja. Uh, so we need to use this symbol less than or equal to y is not more than not more than cannot be more than x so we are still using the same symbol less than or equal to okay let's look at this one at most when you see these words you know what types of symbol that you need to use this symbol less than or equal to at most less than or equal to and because here you have two times x or two times of x that's why i put two x here y is less than or equal to two x okay how about this at least then you know this is the symbol that you need to use at least greater than or equal to two times x that's why i put two x here and y is greater than or equal to 2x. Okay, how about this one? x plus y has a maximum. Means that cannot more than. That's why I use this symbol, less than or equal to. x plus y is less than or equal to x. So how about this one? x, and, uh, x plus y has a minimum. Minimum means that at least is equal to m. So we use this symbol, x plus y is greater than or equal to m. Okay, at least, y is at least, when you see at least, you know we need to use this symbol, right? So y is at least more than x by m, y is more than x, y is greater than x. So I take y minus x. Is greater than or equal to m. Okay, how about this? At most, when I see at most, I know that we need to use this symbol. So y is at most less than x by m. Y is less than x. X is bigger. So I take x minus y. It's less than or equal to m. Okay, so this is the way uh, how we write the inequality. We just focus by looking at the keyword here, then we know what types of inequality symbol that we need to use. Okay, let's proceed to the first example here. Represent the following situation in the form of linear inequality. Liu has two daughters who are studying in Indonesia and Australia. Okay, let me write down the important information first. So I have Indonesia 
and Australia. The call rate to Indonesia is 28 cents and the call rate uh, per minute while the call rate to Australia is 66 cents per minute. Liu want to make a phone call to both of his daughters and he has prepaid of 50 ringgit in his mobile phone. So it means that maximum amount of the prepaid that he can use is only 50 ringgit. So we just, uh, here I have no space, so I just, sorry, <coughs> sorry. I just write the soft form here. Let the number, let the number of minutes he call to his daughter who studying in Indonesia be X minutes. And let the number of minutes he call to his uh, to his daughter who studying in Australia be Y minutes. Okay, now we can start to write the uh, write the inequality. So one minute will charge you will charge you twenty eight cent. So now we are calling for x minutes. So it will be zero point two x times x plus zero point six six times y. Oh, not equal. Less than or equal to fifty. So this is ringgit, that's why I put, uh, I use 0 0.66, 0 0.28. If let's say you don't want, you just want to write like for example 28 cent times x plus 66 cent times y is uh, also can, but here you cannot write 50, you need to write 5,000. If this is cent, here you have to write cent as well. If this is ringgit, here you have to write ringgit. Follow the units. So make sure they have the same units. Okay, but normally we do not uh, like to write the inequality in like decimal or fraction. We try to change them become an integers. So what should I do? I just multiply the whole inequality by 100. So you will get 28x plus 66y less than or equal to 5000. Okay, now here still can be divided by, mm, by 2, right? So I just divide the whole inequality by 2. 14x plus 33y is less than or equal to 2500. So this is our final answers. Okay, let's go to B. Wong has a pocket money of 30 ringgit and he want to buy some pen and pencil. Okay, let me write down the important information first. Pen and pencils. The pen will cost 7 ringgit and the pencil is just ring it. So now we just let the number of pen he buy be x and let the number of pencil he buy be y. Okay, so his pocket money is only 30 ringgit, right? So one pen you need 7 ringgit, 2 pen, 2 times 7, 3 pen, 3 times 7. Now I buy x pen, x times 7. But normally we do not write x times 7, we just write 7x. Plus, here we do the same thing, 2y. So his pocket money is only 30 ringgit, means that he cannot spend more than 30 ringgit, right? Less than or equal to 30. Okay, so let's proceed to C. A secondary school take in, take in from one student every year from two primary school. We have primary school A and primary school B. Okay, we have two primary school here. 
A and B. At an at sorry, at any one years, the school take X student, X student from school A, and Y student from school B. The total number of student cannot exceed three to O. Cannot exceed. Cannot more than three to O. So X plus Y less than or equal to three to O. Okay, let's go to part, uh, second part. The number of students from school A, which is X, is less than, less than, three times the number of students from school B, less than three Y. So X is less than three Y. If you don't want to give this answer, you can write three Y is greater than X. These two are accepted. Same thing. Okay, let's go to D. A shoes, okay, here I should put an S here. A shoes factory produces two types of leather shoes which are branded Alpha. We have Alpha brand and Palco. It's given that the factories produce X pair of Alpha shoes and Y pair of Palco shoes daily the factory has a raw has raw materials to produce 80 pairs of shoes daily so it means that maximum it can go is just 80 pair so from here we can write an equality x plus y less than or equal to 80. okay how about the second part the ratio of alpha shoes to how close shoes x to y at least 1 over 2 okay you can write in this way or if you don't want you can change become 1 over 2 y okay if you don't want to uh, sometimes we don't want uh, we don't like the fractions so we can change this one become 2x is greater than or equal to y then we just stop here. So this is our final answer. If you don't want, you like to place the Y on your left hand side, you can write this way. Y is less than or equal to 2X. Okay, let's go to the last one. The table shows the cost prices and the selling prices of a pencils and a pencils in a shop. The shopkeepers would like to gain a minimum. When you see minimum, you know you need to use this symbol. A minimum profit of 180 ringgit from the total sales of X pencils and Y pen. So this is a cost price, this is a selling price. So what is the profit for selling one pencil? You need to take this times this, oh sorry, this minus this. 90 cent minus 50 cent means that if you sell one pencil, you will get a profit of 40 cent. So if you sell one pen, you will get a profit of one ringgit. Okay, you take this one minus this, this minus this, then you will get the profit. Okay, since that the shopkeeper would like to gain a minimum profit. So one pen, one pencil will give you this profit, right? So one times this. If you sell two pencils, two times this. Now the shopkeeper sells X pencil, X times this. Same thing, normally we, we do not write the variable in front. We just write 0 0.4 times X. You don't have to write multiply sign. You, you just write 0 0.4 X, people understand. Plus one y minimum less uh minimum is greater than or equal to 180 oh. okay so same thing as i told you just now we don't like the decimal we just multiply the whole equation by then 4x plus then y 180 oh, oh. and if we can simplify it we simplify it we just divide the whole uh inequality not equation huh? we just divide the whole inequality by 2 2x plus 5y 
is less than uh, is greater than or equal to 900 okay let me check again 2x plus 5y is greater than or equal to 500, uh, 900 okay so this is the way how we represent a situation uh, by using an inequality okay for this video i stop here first so i will continue the next part in the next video see you next time bye bye